Hello everyone. Today, using a very easy and quick step-by-step -step process, I'm gonna show you how to tie your tie in one of the most popular ways using Windsor knot. Some people call uh, Windsor knot as full Windsor, some people call it double Windsor. I'm quite confident after watching this video, you guys would be easily be able to create this Windsor knot and would be able to tie your tie exactly this way. Hey guys, now you can see that I'm standing up. Uh, the reason I'm, I've done that so that I could actually show you um, better how I'm making this knot. Now that's the tie, obviously. Um, the tie would have, what you will notice, is one side that will have a narrow end, and other side will have a wider end. The first step is obviously you will bring this uh, collar up, and then get this tie around your neck. I will come close to the screen so that you can have a better view, or closer view. Now, the way you would actually hold it is this particular short end will only gonna come down about 10 centimeters or about four inch uh, from the neck down. And this is, this is the wider end, it will be slightly longer because by the time you're wrapping around during the knot making process, uh, it will lose a little bit of, uh, quite a bit of length. So it will balance it out in the end. It's very important that it's to remember that uh, if you uh, start making the knot with longer, the wider side or the shorter, narrower side. By the time you actually complete the knot, uh, the tie, the length of the tie, either it's gonna be too long or it's gonna be too short and you're not gonna like it, then you have to undo the whole process and redo them again. So what you do is very important, this information is you will start with only about 10 centimeters or about four inch from the neck down. And then obviously you are holding the short end, the narrow end with the left hand and then the wider end with the right hand. Now what you do is you cross it. That's the first step. See, so crossed it and I changed hands. Um, as soon as I've done that, then I'm holding uh, the, the, the narrow end with the right and the wider end with the left. Now I'm, I'm basically holding the joint with the right hand and then this is the left hand. What I'll do is I will go back, I'll take this back and then I'll, I'll bring that forward from underneath. Bring that forward underneath. But when I'm gonna pull it, I'm actually gonna pull it in the direction of right, the opposite direction. So now, as soon as I've done that, the opposite direction, now I've switched hands as well. Now I'm holding this with my right hand, right? That's my right hand. Now I'm gonna repeat the whole and same process again. So I'm gonna get this and bring that actually forward from underneath but same process, I will actually take it out in the opposite direction, which is in the left side. Now, obviously now I'm holding it back from the left side again. Now what I'm gonna do is, I am basically bring this to the right side from underneath. So basically I am taking that to the other side underneath. Now, by the time I've done it, you can see the back side of the tie. And when you look at the knot, you'll see a beautiful triangle shape has started to appear. That means we are definitely going towards the right direction. Now what you do is, well, I'm gonna hold this knot with my left hand index finger, or you can use just two fingers if that makes you feel more comfortable. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna wrap this one around the finger, and I'm gonna take it behind the hand, see, behind the hand, and basically I, it's at the behind of my hand now. I'm gonna take it out, from underneath and I'm gonna take it out, but I'm not gonna take it out from the top. I'm not gonna take it out from the top. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take it out through this tiny hole the index finger uh, created just a moment ago. So I'm taking it out from there. As soon as I'm, I have taken that out from there, you can see that a beautiful triangle shaped nut started to appear, right? Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna create, uh, I'm gonna balance it out a little bit. So I'm just gonna move it up a little bit. So that way you have to adjust it, is uh, you just have to pull it up using this, uh, the, the, the shorter end. And then obviously you have to bring the collar down. As you bring the collar down, obviously you need to uh, adjust a little bit more. And as you are doing that, you can very, clearly notice uh, that uh, you have come up with a beautiful triangle uh, Windsor nut. And then basically there you go. Now, thank you so much uh, for watching this video and 
Um, if you find this video useful, if you find this video informative and helped you in any form of shape, uh, please, please let me know in the comments below if you want me to bring or make more videos like this. And please don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit the bell icon so that when I do come forward with these sort of videos, uh, you don't miss it out. So that's basically it, guys. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.